What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hopefully you guys are doing great. Today's gonna be a good one. We've got a couple things we gotta do. First thing is gonna be getting the Hellcat dropped off because we're putting new tires on that for you guys. And also today is your last day to enter to win that car. So if you want that car, it's your last day. If you wanna get entered, it ends tonight at midnight. But we're gonna be dropping that off to get tires first this morning and then uh, we'll see what we got going on next. But uh, that's how we're gonna start this day off. Boom. You ready? So we're headed out, we're gonna drop the Hellcat off. We need to find a new truck. Today we are running the Black Key. Why we are running the Black Key? Well, we're dropping the thing off to get new tires. And I trust this dealer uh, for the tires and installation. However, I don't know anybody there on a personal level. And if you're watching this and you are one of the guys that worked on the car to put the new tires on, or you work at that branch, it's nothing against you guys. I just don't feel comfortable handing somebody the keys to 700 horsepower, completely trusting that the tires aren't gonna get burnt, nobody's gonna rev it up or anything. Just to kind of protect myself and protect you from doing anything that could potentially be harmful to the vehicle that is supposed to be somebody else's here soon. I'm gonna give you the 500 horse key and put on valet mode just to be safe. Just imagine fam, cruising the roads in this bad boy. It's one heck of a time. Valet mode activated. Reduced engine power, launch control disabled, street transmission, paddle shifters off, street traction, street suspension, everything. Sweet. A Hellcat is dropped off and uh, sweet looking. 2020 Denali over there. Pretty stock, pretty stock. Actually, it's it's completely stock, but uh, sweet looking truck. Sweet looking truck. I do like the looks of those trucks to an extent, but I hate the freaking mirrors on them, if I'm being honest. What's your thoughts on those trucks? Like they're diehard Chevy people. Oh yeah. But I don't know, I don't know how I feel about them. I don't think I personally would buy one for myself, honestly. I really buy a Longhorn. Yeah, that's, I mean, the later. problem is when you're looking at new trucks, if you have that kind of a budget to consider a new truck, then you've got so many options that it's hard to just say okay. well, yes like, or no because you've got options. They're still very there's always pros boring, no matter what truck but, you but that's, that's my preference coming from, you know, obviously I like Mopar stuff and Chrysler stuff more. If I could like take a little bit of pieces from like things that I like from certain trucks and then make into one, that'd be perfect. Kind of like a 12 valve swap square body. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. Yeah. New rubbers. New rubbers on the car. We'll show you these when we get back over to the house. Good looking fourth gen there. Got the mega cab. Couple of F-150s on our way back over to the house and man you guys uh, just uh, I want to let you know how I'm doing a little bit here let you know what I'm feeling so Reagan and I are trying to do our own fulfillment what that means is we are gonna have to buy tons of inventory and basically prepare to do it ourselves like big scale I mean we're gonna have a couple couple people helping out with that but I'm saying like shipping everything ourselves I mean, just everything is gonna be ourselves. So we're gonna be doing all our all ourselves, ordering our inventory, shipping it all out to you guys ourselves because we wanna to try to offer the best possible service that we can. It's a lot, it's a lot of change. It's a lot to take on right now with so many other things going on and it's so frustrating. Like sometimes when you're reading emails from customers and comments and they're just like, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? Ship me my stuff. It's like, dude, trust me, you having to wait ticks me off because like I don't like unhappy customers it, it like it, it kills me when I'm like it's not in my hands I cannot fix it for you like I'm sorry I cannot just say hey ship his stuff ASAP like they're doing it in order the fastest they can and that's why we're trying to do it ourselves and that's why we're buying our own inventory and stocking it ourselves to ship it ourselves so that way whatever we have for sale on the website and whatever you buy like stuff can sell out now that's gonna be the difference is stuff can sell out like hats are gonna be able to sell out shirts are gonna be able to sell out keychains are going to sell out it's no longer gonna be like you can just buy as much as you want you know whatever it's unlimited supply so to speak like stuff can sell out but the stuff that is available that you purchase when you check out we get a notification and we can ship it out like the next day versus the way it used to be is it's not in my hands like once the order goes through it's just a matter of how fast can the fulfillment center make your products and ship your products that's what's taking so long right now so I hope everybody's totally understanding and compassionate understanding that you know with the wait times I get 
trust me, it kills us. There's so many other guys in the industry who are doing the same thing that I am that their customers are unhappy too and they're comparing everybody to Amazon or any of these other mega companies that just are not affected like this. It's either the mega companies or it's the really small companies that hardly ship anything so they can afford to ship stuff super fast and they only have a few things in their own basement and they do it themselves. Like that's one thing, but it's kind of like those mid-sized companies that's like, they're not quite at the point to buy their own fulfillment center and do it all themselves. Like we're so close to that point, but we're they're not quite to that point, but they're just big enough to where they can't do it at home, so they have to outsource it to a fulfillment center because they can't hold inventory like at their house. It's like that middle class of online businesses right now that are just getting like freaking hammered like it, it it's a bummer but we are trying our hardest there's gonna be a lot of huge changes to the store everything's gonna be more simplified like we're not gonna have 45 t-shirts to choose from anymore but like I said the t-shirts that we do have you're gonna be able to get them quick and that's gonna be the trade-off the trade-off is gonna be okay I might not have 25 colors and I might not have 45 different designs to pick from and everything's gonna be more limited and more like this week only or this month only type of stuff but the stuff that you buy, you'll get it quick. And I feel like people would rather have less options and get it faster and be happier that way than have tons of options and have to wait a long time. That's the trade-off. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm gonna turn this car off and show you the new tires. So they're Continentals, the Extreme Contact DWS06, whatever that means, I'm not sure what that means. But uh, I mean, brand new rubber, brand new tires. Sweet. Well, fam, it is the next day of this video, and I want to talk to you guys about a couple of things. First off, for this truck, the winner should be called Today. So, if you know who you are, congratulations. You should have been called. You might not have been called yet, but you should be called Today. Area code from Rochester, New York, just so you guys know, and uh, you're not uh, getting a call from somewhere else and answering it and passing out a bunch of info for somebody that's not legitimate. Let's get back to the trucks. I wanna ask you guys something. What do you guys want to see next most? Crew cab or regular cab? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Ordinarily, we've already had the giveaway truck by now. We're already starting the next giveaway like the day after or within like less than seven days after we're starting the next one. However, we're giving it a little tiny break just because we are doing our own fulfillment now, which means I'm waiting for my inventory to show up and for the fulfillment center that has been doing our stuff previously to get those orders out to you guys so we can make a smooth transition to now faster shipping, an overall better experience for you guys. And that's why there's a little bit of a delay. Let me know down in the comments section below, what do you guys wanna see most? Another Cummins, a Duramax, a Power Stroke, and then a regular cab or crew cab, and I'll do the rest from there. Any makeup on? Yeah, oh, honey, you don't need makeup. Let me see Buddy, I wanna see him. Uh -huh. Let's see little Marshall. He's like, is this the first time he's been in this thing? Yes. That's hilarious. He slept the whole time. Yes. Whole time. That's funny. Whole time. That's funny. Very you good or did he like yank you around or what? No, he did good. Good? That's good. I just got a blister. <laughs> you got a blister outside. Last opportunity to get entered. Like I said, maybe you wanted this truck and you didn't get the call. You could take this car and sell it. Maybe you just want to go buy your own truck. You want to sell this. You want to put money down on your own house, maybe pay cash for your own house. Depending on where you are in the country, you can buy a house for 50 grand. I mean, you can buy houses for 50 grand around us if you're uh, if you're not too picky. Look at this interior. Less than 10,000 miles on it. It's got 9,500 miles on it. Comes with $5,000 cash when you pick it up. Got to make sure you shut the door all the way, otherwise the weather will get in there. <laughs> got the new tires on it brand new rubber the fronts were not that bad the backs I mean they weren't great but they weren't they weren't completely bald they were probably like 20% tread but I'm like I'm not giving somebody a freaking car 20% tread you know what I mean like I want somebody to win this car and unless they're doing burnouts and burn off their own tires that's on them but if they're gonna drive it conservatively they can run this car for several thousand miles and not have to worry about anything at all and this thing has a lot of warranty on it so if you're somebody that's like uh, I want to keep it but if something breaks I don't have the money to fix it this car should have warranty since everything is stock okay everything is stock under the hood other than 
a mid muffler delete which shouldn't void your warranty at all other than that the car is completely stock so you should still have warranty until i think it's a hundred thousand miles or five years but i think you have three more years left on that thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned for all the vlogs coming up i'm going to be trying to post monday through friday every single week now and just really keep that content coming to you guys very different process it's a very different style for me but i think you guys are going to really like it so stay tuned hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet and we will catch you in the next video peace